year was a season to remember for Michigan. The Wolverines have won a national championship. Today, we begin a new era in Ann Arbor with the spring game providing the opportunity to begin the journey towards repeating as national champions. The maize and blue are a legendary program. Greatness is expected from everyone who wears those iconic colors. I tell you what, there is a resilience that is unmatched. The Wolverines have a long history of upholding that standard of excellence. When this next group steps into the big house, they will look to leave their mark. The new era begins today. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. This team will always be in the spotlight. The Michigan Spring Game starts right now on Fox. Hail to the victors, they say. They also say, to the victor go the spoils. You pair them together and you get this morning in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The ring ceremony or rings ceremony for J.J. McCarthy and the 2023 national champions today outside of the big house. And the gates now swing open. It happens fast. To the 2024 season and the dawning of the Sharon Moore era on this chilly, partly cloudy day in Michigan. And so we welcome you to the 2024 spring football game. They held a draft, the Mays team against the blue team, and it really is the land of opportunity on the depth chart for the defending champs. Thanks for joining us. Jason Benetti, two-time Michigan All-American tight end, Jake Butt. Downstairs, Joel Klatt. Charles Woodson, the Heisman winner, Jenny Taft. Team coverage today of a Michigan team that looks totally different in a lot of ways, Jake. Yeah, and it was a storybook ending to the Jim Harbaugh era. 15-0 national champions. You can't ask for a better ending. And yet this is the new era with Sharon Moore. New head coach. A bunch of new coaches. It's been a roster overhaul. Of course, there'll be a new quarterback. And yet with all that change in newness, the structure, the DNA, the winning formula remains intact. Defense has been a big piece of that. They went out and got the godfather of that Baltimore Ravens scheme, Wink Martindale. They'll be one of the best units in college football. And though the offense does return some experience, only one returning starter. So along with those new pieces, along with the depth, the key thing to watch today is who's leading this quarterback battle Who's the favorite to be the guy under center come fall? Well, and a close-up view of that down on the field goes to Joel and Charles down there. Hi, guys. Well, it's a day of hardware. As you can see right here, you brought out the big hardware right and away, Charles. National championships, you got to let everybody know. <laughs> you got to let everybody know you bring the belt out, baby. National I love that. Team. I love that. Well, listen, this is a team, as Jake was just talking about, that... How do you achieve the goal that nothing changes and yet everybody is different? Because there's so many new faces around here. We've got new faces on the coaching staff. We'll have a new play caller on the offensive side, Kurt Campbell. We'll have a new play caller on the defensive side, Wink Martindale. And the more important part of this is the quarterbacks, like the guys we're just talking about. I can't wait to see these guys because in a lot of ways, this is their audition, not only for their coaches, Charles, but for the fan base as well. Absolutely. And you talk about trying to keep things the same, the same philosophies. Well, you promote the quarterbacks coach, Kurt Campbell, who was around here. And then you get Wink Martindale, who we know McDonald and, and, and Mentor. Those guys study under him. That's right. So that's the way you keep things the same and keep that continuity so that the kids don't have to come into a season and trying to learn everything all over again. And I think that we're going to see this quarterback battle. We're going to see guys who were in the system before knowing what to do, and we'll see who makes, makes the least amount of mistakes and takes that step towards being the starting quarterback. Guys, the first two that we'll see, Mays and Blue, will be Alex Orgy and Davis Warren. So they'll get the first snaps here today in the big house. I am convinced, Joel, that the reason Charles is wearing the belt is for the warmth. It is chilly today at the big house and so much to detail. Jenny Tapp with Sharon Moore next. We'll watch position battles all day long from here in Ann Arbor.